easier than felling a forest, I said. The trees don't have teeth. <laughs> Can't imagine Herbalus needing any more than this. Time to head home. Well, did you find me some wax? Find is one way of putting it. Ugh. Reeks like a chocobo's ass. Oh, I don't suppose the Argo will mind as long as he stays above the waves. Argo? So your boat has a name? I didn't know. Yeah. Same as me old man. He was a ferryman himself back before the blight came. The boat's all I have left of him. And thanks to you, he'll sail another day. Sid, how is it I never see you on the ferry? Ah, forget I asked. Here, yeah, Sid, how is it I never see you?
What happened here? Come on. We need to find the others. Fucking Imperials. If they hurt Martha, they'll have the old rest to answer to. What was all the screaming and shouting, Mummy? I told you to stay inside. I'm sorry, Sid. We were too late. The Imperials have already left. We're best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. The boys from the garrison might still be nearby. Founder. I'd rather not bump into them again. Let's get you to a physical, shall we? I'm sorry. I think I twisted something. Sid? What said you'd be coming? I trust you don't mind. Also thought you might need some help. And it appears he was right. <laughs> you, uh, could say that, yes. They're saying the Imperials ascended like a storm. No one was spared their fury. Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but... All our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march. Any idea where? Judging by their tracks, they headed towards Sorrowwise Bay. To the Abbey, sheltering Martha's bearers. The bastards. Jill and I will go after them. You take care of the people here. We will. But, um, before you go, one of the locals heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about a culling. I don't know how big this is, but it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. You do the same. This culling business... 
You don't think... You don't think the Empire means to rid the land of bearers, do you? What in the world is going on? Lads from the garrison all poured in, sword swinging, and took Martha away with them. Cole is right. That was no tavern brawl. It was a message. But a culling. Bearers are the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to have come from higher up. Thanks for heeding the call. If only we got here sooner. We'll do what we can to help the injured, though. They've killed my bearer. I demand recompense. Oh, do. See you, Sid. The soldiers who did this are long gone, I'm afraid. We're doing what we can to treat the wounded. Orson's touch an arrow on Martha's head. Are you hurt? Don't worry about me. It's them at the Abbey who need you. You have to do something. Tell us what happened. What happened? The damn Black Shields, that's what happened. The Black Shields? The bastards caught wind. The Abbot and I were helping bearers. They were gonna hang us both. 
when the sick rose from their beds. Poor souls turned on the Imperials, distracted them long enough for me to get away. Then... they may still be alive. Martha, do you think you can make it back to the inn? Cole is there with the other curse breakers. I think so. Thank you, Clive. Black shields. Is this some sort of twisted joke? There has only ever been one order of shields in Rosaria, and they fought to defend all her citizens. It seems a step too far, even for the Empire. Ah! Are we too late? There might still be someone inside. No. I thought you lot were all spent. Murderers. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. These two aren't turned. Ugh. That bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. Colluding with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offense. And for their crimes shall they be punished. Such is the law. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these our swords we swear. How dare you speak those words! Have you no honor? Clive. This won't take long. Oh, my God. 
of them. I think so. I didn't see the abbot. He may still be alive. Abbot. The bearers died protecting him, calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies. Clive, he's breathing. Friends of Martha, we're here to help. Are the Imperials dead? They are. Every last one. If only that were true. <coughs> the Black Shields will return. The cuttings will continue. Rosaria will never be saved unless we save her. Tell Martha to beg his aid and tell her this wasn't her fault. I, I shall. Jim, where are you? Jim! In here! We found a survivor! Clive? He's gone. We've laid the abbot to rest, but the bearers, they didn't need to die like this. No, they didn't, but it was their choice. They knew the fate that awaited them and chose to meet it on their terms, fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds, threw themselves at the Imperials so she and the abbot could escape. I've gathered the bearers' remains. We should consign them to the tide. There's a drawbridge not far from here. Redux jump. The currents there are swift. If the abbot were still with us, he'd have taken the dust there himself and performed the casting. I'll get someone to... I'll do it. Of course. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. The fork to the drawbridge is back the way we came. It's where the abbot would have gone himself, had he not. <laughs> the Imperials of old would never have stooped so low as to defile a house of Grieka, nor slaughter a man of faith in cold blood. May their goddess have mercy on their soul.
at us, Torgal? What do I say? Of course it has. There's a floating eyeball. See that coming. <laughs> you were right, boy. So shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden, and bear it out to sea. And now they are truly free. I hope so. What of the Imperials? A pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right.
Thank you, Founder. Thank you, Phoenix. I'm glad Martha's safe. Both for her sake and the town's. This place wouldn't be the same without her. Oi, look sharp! Me? Oh, what? Are any of you hurt? No, they didn't come this way, thank the founder. Return to the hideaway as soon as we've finished our ministrations. We've been speaking with the Blood Axes about how best to protect the village. We won't let this happen again. Try not to move. You'll only make it worse. I know! There's a stout soul, all right. If anyone else would be out cold after what she's been through. It's not fair, Sid. That shouldn't be the only choice. The only way to be free of all this. And nowhere safe no more. survived then I'm sorry before he passed one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself does it mean I won't does it mean their blood's not on my hands Cole said you cast their remains that was good of you but it should have been me this was all my fault how you couldn't have known but I did and I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumors started moons ago of black-clad devils descending on villages in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. But I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. And in ordinary times, you would have been right. What these black shields are doing... It's unthinkable. Which begs the question... Why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. I cannot make sense of her actions. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them. Preferably big ones. If those Imperials think they can come in here again and threaten my people... They're in for a rude awakening. Oh, before I forget, a Stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Then we must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? We can stay longer if you wish. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young coast breakers.
Those poor souls died to give me a chance to save others. I won't let their sacrifice be in vain. sword of yours. Of course you are. Bet you're a bloody marvel with the thing. Now, question is, are you willing to use it or not? Because a flock of noble chocobos are in need of help. Chocobos? You heard me right. Wild birds? Hmm? The big ones? And not just any chocobos at that. Whiteheart and her flock are the bravest birds you ever did see. They protect travelers round these parts from bandits and the like. Chocobos. Fighting bandits. It's true. Why, they saved me from a gang of footpads only yesterday. Nasty lot they were too. And now, they're back. Looking to settle the score. Oh, go on then. D don't just stand there. Go and help them. There's a good lad. Where can I find these chocobos? I saw him cut across the way over yonder. The rotten scoundrels were driving the poor things towards the old dock. It's a dead end, that is. You save Whiteheart and her flock, you hear me? There ain't a pluckier bird in all the world. She's a hero to us locals. And don't worry, you'll know her when you see her right enough. I'm sure I will. And good luck to you. And give those no good bastards a hiding from me. White Heart is the pride of Rosaria. You must let those bastards lay a finger on that noble bird. Find her and her friend. Make sure they're all right. for a shock about. Feather. I thought Ambrosia was one of a kind. Speaking of brave birds, looks like they went that way. These chocobos aren't going down without a fight. They're in trouble.
We got you cornered, Feathers. You didn't think you'd seen the last of us, did you? You've been bad for business. But I reckon someone will pay good coin to mount your head on their wall. Not around here, they won't. Oh. And why is that, eh? Because she's something of a hero in these parts. You hurt her, and I hurt you. Piss off. Or better still, how about we hurt you both? All right then. But don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> You're safe now. White heart, I presume. Do you know her, boy? That scar. It couldn't be. It is you. You survived. And you found yourself a flock. Oi! He, he is it over! I thought I'd come and see how you were getting on. Oh, 
Are you sort of the bastards then? I knew you would. <laughs> and the whole flock made it through unscathed. Thankfully, they did. And not only that. Well, I'll be. I never stopped to think our hero here might once have been someone's mount. <laughs> Though I dare say she'd suit a fine fellow like yourself. Reckon our feathered friend must have learned a thing or two from her master. Kind-hearted warrior that you are. <laughs> Bird like her would have cost a princely sum. You born a lord or something? Well, I... Uh, <clears throat> oh no, sorry, sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to pry. Don't matter who you are, you done right by me. What is it, girl? She wants her master back, I reckon. <laughs> Told you. And it seems her pals agree. Is that it? You want to come with me? Well, bugger me if this ain't a heartwarming sight. The lads down the stables will be hearing about this tonight. Stay right where you are. Doesn't she cut an handsome figure, eh? She does indeed. How much do I owe you? Ah, a few scraps of leather's the very least I owe, old Whiteheart. Oh, I'll be sad to see her go, of course. But she's earned her right to happiness and more besides. Don't you worry, we'll get along just fine without her. <laughs> you hear that, Whiteheart? You've earned yourself some time off. You have fun traveling with your master now. Hmm. You seem awful familiar now I get a proper look at you. That's it. When those chocobos swarmed my cart on the road, didn't you? Uh... No. No, that can't be right. That fellow was a bearer. Must have been my double. Oh, must have been, eh? <laughs> Oh, that'll be the excitement getting to me. Silly sod that I am. Pay me no mind. <laughs> Anyhow, best be on my way. Good luck to the both of you. You take care of your flock for now. I'll call you when I need you. Good girl. Faster.
back to the stables, girl. Try not to move. Good. 